Uh, so, welcome back to the Loneliest Horror Show, which is another kind of um, format of um, I, I use for just movies, horror movies. <clears throat> and today I got um, City of the Living Dead. Um, this one I kept seeing a, seeing it a lot. Um, I have Amazon Prime, and since I've been watching a lot of 80s movies, you know, it, it recommends you 80s movies. And this one, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be about zombies because it has Of the Living Dead. You know, usually if it says Of the Living Dead, it's like Night of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead, um, Land of the Dead, uh, you know, whatever. A zombie movie. But this was a semi like it's a semi zombie movie but it's more like an HP Lovecraft um, uh, based loosely based uh, movie Be like a story from a HP Lovecraft because they they were they, they mentioned like Dunwich and um, you know witchcraft is uh, also a very uh, big proponent of HP Lovecraft and his stories of supernatural and and uh, I'm sorry if you can hear all these trucks. Uh, sorry about that. I forgot to close the window. But look, the City of the Living Dead. Look, I I'm gonna tell you this. Like the the last movie I saw uh, that I reviewed, uh, the American Wolf, uh, Werewolf in London, was like near perfection. You know, it was near p perfection for me. That movie, I didn't have any complaints, like, at all. And for this one, it was, like, it was, it was boring. It was, like, there was barely any, like, dialogue, like, to explain what's going on. All they were just trying to do was just, like, try to stop uh, the living dead from, you know, escaping, you know, the... The world they're in, like the, well, I guess hell or whatever, um, or limbo or whatever. But look, I was, I was scrolling through my control. Like every time, I'm like, am I 30 minutes in? In my 45 minutes in? Um, okay, now I'm an hour in. And I'm like, damn, now, like, what's going on? Like, why is this movie not doing much? Like, what's like what the hell and yeah it was basically that like the plot the, the actors the acting it was it was decent for the 80s um, the special effects I thought like there were maybe like three that were really good but throughout the whole movie it was just kind of uh, it was just like the deaths, like the deaths of people that died, you know, that they got killed by these supernatural dead, like being dead beings. They they were like a very uh, like a very big one that they kept bringing back was like the head, like the scalp with the brain and everything coming off of the the back of the head, and and like. They wouldn't, like, <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's an 80s movie because they're not doing much. They're not doing anything to defend themselves. They're just like, they're, while well, they're getting their head ripped off and they're like, you, you could just, you could, you could say it's a hair, like a deer in the headlights kind of situation where you're just too panicked and they freeze. But like, it was mostly that, like, and then, and then they would just stare at, you know, the one of the the the, the antagonists would just stare at, at our women and then they'll start bleeding from their eyes and not the guys though. Like it wouldn't affect the guys, but it would affect the women. And then he looks <laughs> he looks at them long enough they'll turn into like a servant of his. It it was a lot of it was a lot of randomness into it and they tried to like I guess try to like pack it in and try to make sense of it but I didn't really see see that like that interesting of it like it wasn't that much interesting to me I thought it was a little bland a little boring um yeah right into the last like I said I was like scrolling scrolling okay I'm in 40 minutes 45 minutes in an hour in 
And right when, right when it was like the last 30 minutes, you know, shit started to turn up. And I was like, oh my God, finally. Finally. Because then I was like, if this whole movie, nothing happens. Wow. Like, what the hell? But look. Okay, the last 30 minutes, yes, action happens. But it just, it just wasn't, it wasn't it, you know? It just wasn't it for me. I just didn't really like this movie. And it's, uh, and I will say, honestly, like, honestly, it's a waste of time to watch this movie. See, they even, I thought it was going to be a little bit more action-y. Like, there was going to be more zombies. But there's, like, barely any of them in the, uh, like, the first few hour like the first hour there's nothing and look just to let down for me I just I didn't like this movie see the living dead it's like a one out of five for me it's a one I'm just giving it because it's, I know making a movie is uh, it's a task and it's a mission but geez this one sucked but all right thank you guys for um, listening to my review because <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to make reviews like I'm not going to explain to you the whole movie because then that's going to be something else like that's an analysis of the film and, and whatnot. I'll tell you if it's good or if it's not good like I thought uh, you know the, the previous movie in American Werewolf I thought that one was really good I saw this other movie that I'm going to talk about later and I thought it's it's, uh, it's it serves another purpose you know but I'll talk about that film another time. But uh, for this one, I yeah, I didn't like it. Um, so thank you for watching this video, guys. And subscribe and like. Don't forget, comment. Comment um, maybe some other film I should watch. Whichever horror film. Um, hopefully, like, it's free on Amazon Prime or Shutter or whatever. All right, guys. Thank you very much.